。接下来上场的是代表日本的选手。Next to skate, representing Japan, Satoko Miyahara. Here is her countrywoman, Miyahara. Rika Hongo actually finished off the podium at nationals this year, but Satoko Miyahara picked up her second straight national title. And she's looking to change the color of her medal, as we mentioned in our pregame show, twice before at Four Continents, both times silver. Said it better myself. And you didn't. Love about Satoko is differently to Rika Hongo. She does have the finish. Every movement of her arms, every stretch of her free leg, every toe is pointed, and she's such a compact little figure that it's probably a little easier for her. Rika is definitely taller. And with that compact stature, some things are easier, but. Filling the rink yes. with both of movement challenge. and power and speed is more of a challenge. And she has the presence and the awareness and the consistency. And if she could get just a tiny bit more speed and a little more height than her jumps, that's a pretty good full package. She's not a person I would like to have skating after me if I'd make mistakes. She'd be just ready to walk through that door. And she has been getting better all season long. She already set a personal best in the short program here at Four Continents. Well, if you're consistently giving the judges a full program of clean jumps, then they get to see the big picture. And sometimes when you mar the landscape with some mistakes, the judges never get to see what was the potential of the program. She gives the potential almost every time. So, they reward it. That's really how Meryl Davis and Charlie White got their gold medal in the dance event in Sochi. They were absolutely consistent for two years straight. Can't argue with that. to it. Photograph of her at almost any point in the program, and it's going to be a good one. That really was lovely. Satoko Miyahara of Japan sitting in first after the short program. 
and that skate, I think, will get her gold. An absolute beautiful performance by her. We will have her marks when we return here on Road to the Olympic Games. It's the Four Continents Championships in Taipei City. Training ground discovering Canada's next great athlete. Now back to figure skating. Andy, Carol, and Kurt. Thank you, Scott. We are watching the ladies' competition. Here's a look at past champions. Last season, it was the American, Polina Edmonds, who took gold. And we see it's really pretty much been dominated by the Japanese. And no surprise there, the amount of times Mao Sada has won it. Will we see another Japanese skater take the gold? We just finished watching Satoko Miyahara. And what a beautiful skate she put together. She is leading after the short program. She's like a little kitten that just creeps into your heart. Oh. And, and the more you watch her, and the more you see her, the more you love her. Some very brave, uh, tender moments in the choreography where she's looking up and, you know, and doing things that are not skating related. And it only takes a half a second, but it, it stays with you. She so did seven beautiful. triples. She did four of them in the second half. And that, of course, reminds our audience it gives her that 10% bonus for each one of those jumps. It scores. So she knows how to work the system for both ends, beauty and brawn. She needs 121.39 bigger jumps. Japan. She'll get there. Oh. The and she definitely gets there. That's actually a personal best as well. 142.43. We talked about her consistency, but she's also getting better. It's not just doing the same thing over and over again and staying at a certain level. It's doing the same thing and getting higher. You can see Mariah shaking her head just a little bit. I've done that when I competed against Stoiko all the time. All the Stoiko is so consistent. Just shake your head and go, I did it again. So personal bests all around here so far for Satoko Miyahara. You would have to think that'd be good enough to give her the gold, but 